well, good morning, everybody. And I hope you're having, your, your day's getting off a good start. By the time you see this, I'll be down in Annapolis, Maryland. I have a, an old friend that died and I'm doing the funeral uh, this morning at the Naval Academy. Um, and to come up with something to, to, to talk about, we had some great stuff happening in our community last weekend. Uh, it just, it, it kind of feeds my soul in terms of uh, just great things. We had great baptism class on, on uh, Friday night. We had a, a high school student on Saturday morning who was uh, received into the church uh, and was baptized. And he's been working on that for a couple of years, which is great, uh, on his own, which is just wonderful. A great teacher meeting uh, with Paula Colpitz and her team, a little morning of recollection. Uh, just a lot of great things happening. And, you know, how do you, how do you put in perspective, you know, the God spirit is working in and around us. Uh, in spite of all the stuff that goes on in the world that we just, we just get so caught up with. Uh, but today uh, is a great feast in honor of St. Francis of Assisi. And with the mess of the world and the society we're in, uh, what is the message that we need, I think? Because it's God's message of love. Jesus was always talking about God's love. But I think that if we, if we take the heart St. Francis's prayer, that one we sing in church so often. I'm just going to read it. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is error, the truth. Where there is doubt, the faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. And where there is sadness, joy. O divine master, Grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to be understood, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is dying that we are born to eternal life. What a great prayer and a great inspiration for us to take forward to this week because it all boils around to God's love for us, is shown forth from his son, Jesus Christ. As I mentioned last week, that great prayer of uh, the little flower, what is love demanding of me today? St. Francis's prayer says the same thing. And it all boils back to God himself. Have a great week. God bless. Keep the faith.